Hi, this is Robert Tube. Today on Way of the Hunter, we are taking another look at Matriki Park DLC. I've got early access. It comes out on February the 6th. Today, we're looking at tripods. That's right, we're doing some hunting with tripods. So let's see how that works out. We're going straight to the store in our new trophy lodge. And there is two in total you can buy. So let's have a look at them right now. So here they are. You've got the Antolia Big Brother. And you've got the Antolia Giraffe. So we're going to get both of them. Stick both of them in our inventory. You can carry both at the same time as well. Or you can carry one, two, whatever you've got space for. But I'm going to carry both of them. Then we're going to take them out. See what the differences are. But as you can see already, there is differences. The elevation can be medium or high. And the installation on the noise sound can be low or medium. So out of the two, the Antolia Giraffe seems to be the better one. It's got better elevation and lower installation sand. So we'll see how that works out when we go and test them out. Because they could say that in the store, but when we take them out, it could be totally different. So I'm going to go a hunt in both of them. We'll have a look at both of them when I'm sitting in the stand. See what it's like at spooking range. That's what I'm going to be really interested in. Because I want to know how close you can get to animals when putting the tripods out does it spook them a uh, short distance long distance i don't know we're going to find out right now so there we go we're going to stick them in this inventory slot but yeah i'm looking forward to testing these out it's been a big deal i went over the patch notes the update 1.25 in the previous video check that out if you've already seen it from a tricky park Tuesday the 6th of February that's when this content goes out so we're carrying on from where we hunted last time check out my first hunt video with the patch notes for 1.25 included it's a very long video so you might want to get a beverage or something while you're watching it it's about 45 minutes long but there's no editing it's all just pure hunting and uh, we had a lot of fun in it. But yeah, we went over the patch notes, what's in the updates, lots of tweaks. And today we're continuing on from where we left off last time. What will we find today? I don't know, but we are going to be hunting in tripods. I've got the 308 and we've got the 338. That's what we'll be using weapons wise. So let's go test these tripods out, see how they fit. A lot of people have been talking about these. Let's go over the species for Matriki Park as well at New Zealand. We have got chamois, European here, European rabbits, fallow deer, feral goats, feral pigs, grey leg goose, helmeted guinea fowl, Himalayan tar, pheasant, red deer, Rocky Mountain elk, samba deer, sicker deer. White-tailed deer, wild boar, and wild duck. That is what we've got species-wise, 17 in total. I'm hoping to find some new ones today. We didn't shoot in the last video. And we've just found some potential new species we haven't shot yet. And it's a sicker deer. There's a group of them. Now, what we're going to do is place this stand out. Is it going to spook them? I don't think it has. And they're only about 100 metres away. So I'm quite surprised at that. I thought there'd be like a couple hundred meter spook range. As you can see, I'll just put it up. It was a nice quick installation, but they haven't spooked. So now we've got an instant vantage point. That is the key for these tripod stands is going to be the elevation you get. Um, and it gives you an advantage to get a better shot. So can we take out our first sick of deer? It's only a one star male amongst this group. I'm guessing the better ones are on private land, which we'll find as we explore more around the tricky park as we do more hunting. So there you go. So about 100 meters with this tripod stand. Our first one put out didn't spook anything, which I am very surprised about. We used the 308 on the sicker deer. I've just seen some white-tailed deer as I pulled up as well. So we know near the start we've got Rocky Mountain elk, sicker deer, feral goats, chamois i know you've got some hares around here as well white-tailed deer and i've seen pheasant as well in this starting area as you can see they've done a great detailed job on the tripods we're just going to use the photo mode to uh, look at it eerily uh, take some pics for maybe thumbnails but yeah 
I'm liking how they go up quite quick. I wasn't sure if there's going to be a big noise penalty or there was going to be a long time to put them up. As you can see, they're pretty much instant. We'll see what it's like to take them down in a minute. As you can see, yep, yeah, liking these up to yet. These are going to be highly effective, but I would adjust the penalty of the noise sound. Um, just pulling straight up to animals and pull it straight out and then nothing spooks. Uh, they seem to be, um, it might just be how we've just pulled up to this group and they're only like low class, I don't know, um, animals. But I think there should be a bigger noise penalty. At least a few hundred metres. Imagine getting a big pair of ladders and clanking them up in front of a group of animals. <laughs> what would happen? They'd just run off, wouldn't they? So uh, I think they could improve or maybe they will tweak the uh, noise penalty sort of area of this. So there you go, instantly you can take them down. So there's no messing about putting them up and taking them down. Um, that's good to see. I'm really happy about that. Right, let's go collect our kill. Our first sick of day. Let's have a look at that. We're going to unlock the encyclopedia. Like I said, it was about 100 meters we put them up. The uh, tripod stands. I'd like tree stands as well for bow hunting, things like that, but they're obviously going to be a lot harder to make and you're gonna have to have specific trees and animals near those calling them in so that's definitely a lot more work but would you like tree stands adding to Wade Hunter in the future let me know about that in the comments so there you go 308 that's what we used on our first sick of deer not really great genetics 227 was the money for them so they didn't score too bad and we didn't lose much meat wise so it's a sort of perfect gun really and there's a trophy score. So first sick of deer of Matriki Park, New Zealand. And we've unlocked the encyclopedia. Shall we have a look, shall we? So I'm guessing with how much meat we lost with the 308, that they are tier 5. There we go. So sick of deer. A deer native to East Asia. Its antlers are made of bone. And they fall off every year and then regrow. The name of the species comes from the Japanese word for deer, and the latter part of its Latin name literally means Japan. Never knew that, but there you go, learn something every day. Hunting tier 5, there is a recommended hit energy, so the 308 is perfect for them. Here's the life cycle, we're sort of about nearly sort of midday, so I'd hunt them between sort of 7 and 12 really, but these are the life cycles for the sick deer, and I hope that helps you out when you get to Matriki Park, New Zealand. Right, on to animal weights. So, young male, 1 to 4, up to 73 kilo. Female, up to 61 kilo. Adult male, up to 13 years old, 84 kilos. Female, 73 kilos. Mature, up to 20 years old, 92 kilos. And female, up to 81 kilos. So, the female is about 10 kilos lighter, uh, give or take, than a male cicadier. So that's what we've unlocked up to yet. Right, let's go do some more hunting. So first hunt with the tripod stand was a success. We learned that you can put them up quite close for about spooking animals. The installation was quick and easy to get into and dismantle. So that's a key part of putting them out. You don't want to be cumbersome messing about when you, there's a trophy animal in front of you, do you? We've got somebody in front of us now in front of this lake, uh, which we have spooked, but... I didn't see that, but it doesn't matter. We'll get out. We'll have a look near the water, see what we can find. There's probably going to be some more drinking need zones around it. We've got some animals bouncing around in the background, which we've spooked. Some more sickers. What else have we got? There is something there. And I've got a feeling that's one of the most wanted animals on Matriki Park DLC, New Zealand. I think that's a Himalayan tar. That's where they expect to find them. It's either a feral goat or a Himalayan tar. We'll see a bit more soon. But we've got sort of dam here, a big sort of waterway. Now we have got an objective to kill a Himalayan tar. That was 85 kilo or over. So I think we'll have a crack at that. We'll get out the, the Antolia giraffe tripod. Give that a test. That's supposed to have a higher height and a lower noise installation so we'll give that a go now we'll just have a look at this lake and see what drinking need zones we've got it's quite a big one 
and we should have quite a few around here. So we've got sick of their drinking here. And what's the other ones? But yeah, I think we're going to go for this Himalayan tar. I think that's what it is. Have a look through the rifle when we stick up the uh, Antonio Giraffe tripod. We've got feral pigs around here as well. Sick of there. Himalayan tar, it's a one star. So we might better do that objective as well. I'll click the wrong button. Right, that's the one we wanted to get the objective up. So, this is our first Himalayan tour we've seen. I can't wait to see these close up. First time hunting one in any hunting game, so I'm really excited about this. This is one of the species I was really most excited about. But here we go. This is the Antolia giraffe tripod stand. So this is a bit taller, and it's less in noise penalty, like installation wise all right let's get in and let's try and take out our first himalayan tar looking forward to this going to use a 308 i think it'll be tier five so here goes our first shot on a himalayan tar hopefully it's a good one we'll soon see <laughs> right there we go so it looks like it's quite a bit of blood how far are you going to run? Now, it was on its own. It wasn't in a group. I don't know much about Himalayan tar. Can they be formed in groups? Do they, you know I mean, are they social groups? Or are they loners? Let me know all about it. And there we go. Did a nice little face plant. So, first Himalayan tar down. I don't know if it will do the objective. I don't know anything about them. I don't know the weights. So, we'll soon see. But let's have a look at this Antolia giraffe. Tree stand while we're up here. Let's get my rifle out. So you can get the full idea of what they look like. But yeah, this definitely does look a bit bigger. I don't know if that's perception or reality. <laughs> but I'm just going by what we're seeing. Like I say, this is the first time I've ever seen it myself. That might actually be the thumbnail. I'm just trying to get a sort of idea of what I want to... Uh, that is a thumbnail, but I've got an idea from that. And this is a location of where we're hunting. We're going to venture all around the map the best we can before release date. Probably the 6th. And I'll continue then on any way with my live save afterwards. So, as usual, lots of way of the hunter videos to come. But if you want to see anything specially, drop it in the comments in each of these videos. And I'll try and make it happen. Right, I've been waiting for this. This is one of my favourite species. I wanted to hunt at Matrika Park and we have just got our first one. So, can't wait to see what these look like. And we're going to see right now. I wonder what these taste like. If you're from New Zealand, let me know about them. Can you hunt them openly? Can you have only so many tags per year? Uh, what do they taste like? I do like to know all about the animals. So, anyone from New Zealand, let me know. So, nice clean shot with the 308. Our first Himalayan tar. Left lung, right lung. It's a common one as well. They don't fetch too much money. But look at that coat. What a stunner. His genetics aren't good though. Look at that, 70.92. So, he's never going to be a monster, a big five star. But he is an absolute beautiful animal. So we'll have a look at those in the inspect actually. And as you can see, we lost literally no meat from the 308. So guessing tier five is where they're at. So the 308 is perfect from a tricky park from what we shot up to yet. So let's inspect them, shall we? Have a closer look at the model and what a stunner, like I was saying. The fur on these is absolutely beautiful. Won't mind a coat or a, a fancy rug made out of their fur. I bet it's really warm and comfortable. But they look stunning. Done a great job on these Debs. Whoever designed this, thumbs up from Ron McTube. They look really nice. Let me know in the comments what do you think. Himalayan Tor, like I said, a lot of us have wanted these in other hunting games. So it's nice to see them first come to weigh the hunter. Let me know what you think in the comments. So first Himalayan Tor down. Let's have a look at the encyclopedia because I know you want to know all you can about the details to do with them to help you hunt them and it's always good to see and learn about the animals of the new reserves we go to hunt 
It's very useful in encyclopedias. So what are they? Tier 5, I'm guessing? Yep, there we go. Himalayan Tsar. So Himalayan Tsar, hunting Tier 5, a large wild goat native to the Himalayas with a striking shaggy coat. They spend most of their time grazing on grasses or browsing on leaves and fruits, adept at moving back and forth between higher and lower altitude rocky areas. Hunting tier 5, recommended hit energy there, life cycle, there you go. So you've got your drinking, your resting, and your feeding. Uh, need zone times, like I say, we've seen it about midday. So you just finished drinking, so hunt when you need to. Animal weights, so you've got young, 1 to 3, up to 65 kilo for a male, up to 53 kilo for a female. Adult male, we've got up to 9 years old and up to 80 kilo and up to 69 kilo for female. Mature male, up to 14 years old, 94 kilos in weight. And a female is actually slightly older, up to 84 kilo. So about 10 kilo difference. Body variants. Its coat starts out grey-brown on the upper body parts with a lighter shade on the lower parts, then change to dark brown, eventually evening out as it ages. Males are larger and heavier with more robust horns, thicker and shaggier coats. Primary habitat is mountains. Secondary habitat is highlands. Trophy type is horns. And trophy ranges, four or five star is that. So today we've took our first look at tripods for Matriki Park, New Zealand. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. We got our first Himalayan tar as well. Can't wait to show you the next video. From in Tricky Park on Way to Hunter. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm on YouTube. Please subscribe to YouTube channels and thanks for watching. Bye bye.